welcome to my channel. It's me, Epic Realist, and I'm back for a talking video. I have a topic that's kind of related to Halloween since it's always coming up, and I wanted to kind of discuss it. You know, it was very creepy when it happened, but I want to talk about it anyway because, again, it relates to Halloween, it relates to something scary, and why not? You know, let's make it a little story time. So, there was a time in the past when my husband and I, we, this is when we only had two kids. We only had two, and they were really young. They were like, maybe age two and three, maybe, something like that. To make a long story short, I'm not going to get into all the details, but to make a long story short, um, my mother-in-law had kicked us out at the time. Because we were still living with her and there was some drama, blah, blah, blah. And she had kicked us out. So, we had nowhere to go. It wasn't like an abrupt kicking out. She, I think she gave us like two months. And then we had to figure out something within those two months as far as money. Or else she, she was going to kick us out. And we got kicked out. Because we didn't have anywhere else to go. And shit was not going so well at the time. I was super depressed, y'all. Nothing was going right. And, you know, a lot of stuff was going on. So... Yeah. I literally just washed my hair, so if you wonder why it looks wet, I literally just took a shower and washed it. So yeah, that would be like. Anyway, like I said, there was a time where she kicked us out and we had nowhere to go. We could not go back to my parents' house because we had been there already and there was already some drama with them and we didn't want to stay there. If you guys probably have already guessed by now, based on my abuse stories and all that, we did not want to stay with them. So, we had nowhere else to go. We didn't know a lot of people, we still don't. We didn't know a lot of people we could stay with, no one know help us out with two kids. You know, none of that, so we had nowhere to go. But, there was this couple that we had met through a game we were playing years ago. It was an online game we used to play called Mad Binoki. I talked about this in another video. We had met a couple through that game and we kind of got to know them a little bit, talking to them through the game or whatever. It's a long story, but we used to um, talk to them. We didn't know them as much as we should have, but anyway, we got to know them. <clears throat> we told them our situation because, you know, we were starting to become friends with them. We thought they were cool. You know, they only had one daughter. It was a baby, practically. And, you know, we thought they were cool. So we said, I mean, they said, okay, well, y'all can move down here with us for a little while. Y'all can live down here with us. So we said, cool, you know, we got nowhere to go anyway. We can't really be homeless. This ain't going to work very well. You know, we're homeless with kids. We can't do that. We have nowhere else to go. What are we supposed to do? Go to a shelter. And they, so basically, they let us come down there with them. Now, the problem with this is I was kind of flirting with the guy through the game. <gasps> going down there and my husband kind of knew it but he kind of knew about it but he hadn't called it out you know what I mean so we went down there you know the situation wasn't as good as we thought it was you know the wife she started being annoying she was being an asshole um the husband they ended up not being nice people and I think the husband was upset because I didn't want to be with him I guess I don't know just some weird stuff but I'm not going to get into that. That might be a whole other story time. But anyway, we went down there to move. We moved down there with them. And basically it was chaos. They ended up not liking us. I think the wife was racist because she was white. And although she had a black husband, she did not like my husband very much. So she kept talking sweet to me and she kept dogging my husband for no reason. So basically, me and my husband, we started just alienating ourselves. Like, the bedroom they gave us a stay in, we just kind of stayed back there and stayed to ourselves after this big blowout had gone down. And, you know, we were stuck there with our two kids. You know, what could we do? We couldn't go anywhere. So we tried to, like, protect our kids and, you know, just watch them do our daily thing. My husband, he found a job down there. This is all new town. This is, like, Augusta, Georgia. Um, he found a job, and I was just home watching the kids. And yeah, that was that, but like I said, things didn't help us. Now, where the spooky part comes in was that 
we felt very much attacked in the house, like spiritually attacked, if you know what I mean. If you've ever dealt with anything like that, then you understand. We felt like we were being spiritually attacked. And I don't mean in a religion sense, because y'all know we don't do religion, but you don't have to be in religion to feel spirits. You don't have to be in a religion to experience spiritual things. That's a lie that they tell you you have to be in a religion in order for you to experience spiritual things. Spirituality is just life. How life is. You know, there's spirits everywhere, souls everywhere. That's just how it is. So basically, I remember one night, me and my husband, we were going to sleep. I remember we were trying to sleep. And um, our kids were in another bedroom. They were in the bed, sharing the bedroom with the woman's daughter I was telling you about. So they were supposed to be in their sleep. And me and my husband were in our bedroom, you know, trying to go to sleep. Y'all, one night we heard this loud pitter pattering. Like, I can't really explain it. It was so long ago. It was just kind of like, you would think it was like a bunch of animals running on top of the roof. Like, we literally heard that. And we were like, what the hell? So we freaked out. We were like, okay, what is that? We got up, we looked around, there was no, you know, there were no pets. They didn't have any pets around, there were no cats around, there were no, there was nothing even outside. So we kept hearing this pitter pattering. We were, we were like, what the hell is that? We couldn't figure out who it was. The kids were asleep, we checked on our kids. You know, her child, she was asleep too. It was nothing like that, so we didn't know what the hell was going on. And it was literally a running, it was like little footprints across the entire roof. So I think the next day we woke up the, the woman and we told her about the footprints. We told her we heard these footprints. And she was like, she got an attitude. It was as if she got an attitude. She was like, well, I didn't hear nothing. Bitch, what the hell? How do you not hear those loudest footprints? And she swore she didn't hear anything. Like at first she didn't have an attitude. She was just like, what are you talking about? I really didn't hear anything. And we thought we were going crazy. Like, okay, well maybe it was some animal over our, our roof area, which didn't make any sense. And she told me she never hears any animal. There's never any animals on their roof, per se. So I was like, okay. That would happen again the next night. Now remember, we're in cahoots with each other at this point. Like, us and the woman and the husband, we're not really friends anymore. We're just kind of avoiding each other. The woman has an attitude every day about every little thing we were doing and like I said that did not go so well so we tried to stare ourselves again and again but then a lot of tension in the house, a lot of bad energy so like I said the next night it happened again the pitter pattering came back it came back over the roof and he really didn't know what was going on it was just like nothing I think we even looked outside to see if there was any animal and there were no animals on the roof like there was there were no animals even around that area so y'all we didn't know what the fuck was happening we were just like okay and then we came to a conclusion one night it was just like maybe some kind of spiritual thing now before y'all sit there and go like wait what do you mean spiritual thing y'all demons are real okay We started thinking that there were a lot of evil spirits in that house and we knew we shouldn't have gone down there because it was just drama after drama. We knew we shouldn't have gone down there in the first place. We knew this, but again we had no choice at the time. There were the only people that we knew, the only people that was going to take us in, so we did that. And like I said y'all, I swear those were spirits. There was like such bad energy trying to come after our family because like I said the woman she totally just changed her whole attitude when we got there she was all nice at first like oh yeah y'all come down as soon as we got there and we started unpacking our shit she's just like oh I didn't know y'all had so much stuff and I'm like oh yeah bitch you got two kids plus we did not have as much as much stuff because we only ever just stayed in like one bedroom so we only had enough stuff for one bedroom even though we stuffed we had to put the rest of it in storage we didn't put everything in there you know we didn't even that much stuff so again, we really do believe that they were literal spirits, whatever you want to call them. I don't know what kind of creatures they were, imps or whatever you want to call them. Walking over 
the roof. And like I said, the woman swear she never heard it. She thought we were going crazy. And we were saying, you know, maybe it's um, maybe it's your child. Maybe your child's getting up. She got an attitude over that. Oh, it's not my child. You know, I check on her, and you know, she doesn't run around like that at night. And I'm like, okay, well, what the fuck is it then? Our kids weren't getting up. Our kids never got out of bed like that, and they would not run around like that. They would run to us if they needed something. Plus, the baby, like Jam was a baby. He was in a playpen. He couldn't even get out. So there's no way it was him. We checked a million times. And we still heard the fucking pitter battery. <laughs> so we go, that's that's how that went, and we got freaked out. That was like one of our first spiritual encounters to where we were hearing things that other people were not, and we swear we heard it, and they thought we were fucking crazy, which caused more tension in the house. We really had to get out of there. Like we left. Eventually, we left within like two months. We left, and unfortunately we had to go back to my parents' house because at the time we still did not have anything set up. It was just a mess, financially, and again, we had no choice. So, but yeah, that's that's the story. That's the story of what happened at that house, and it was scary. It was really scary. That was the first time we had ever experienced anything physical going on in the room. Like, we had, like, other, um... Not supernatural, but like other little things happening, but not like literal, like, oh my god, I can literally hear this. And the wife and the husband, they did not hear it. Neither one of them said they heard it. So it's like, what the fuck? You know, and this was all through the whole house. It wasn't just over our head. It was like pitter pattering through the whole house, and they got up and checked nothing. They didn't hear it. We heard it. Doesn't sound crazy. So yeah, that's the story. Um, that's just about it. I think I don't think I left anything out. I don't remember. Um, yeah. Let me know if you guys have ever had an experience like that. Let me know down below, right in the comments. Have you ever had an experience like that? What was it like? What did you do? Where did you go? What happened? How scared were you on a scale of 1 to 10? Because I was scared, but... You know, for some reason I wasn't as scared because nothing actually harmed us. And I knew nothing was going to harm us. It's like as long as we tell the spirits to go away, they ain't going to harm us. We still heard them, but they didn't harm us. So, yeah, like I said, let me know if you guys have ever experienced anything like that. Right down below. Make sure you like this video. Don't forget to like it. Don't forget to subscribe for more because I got another one coming up. I got another weird story coming up. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.